Let's now move to Chhattisgarh. So we'll do the same tough fight analysis. I love the responses we are getting, and we're very happy for you to share your responses, your love, your hate, acha bura, whatever you want. Just keep it going. Stay engaged. So here is Chhattisgarh. So remember, as I told you, in case you've just tuned in, we tell you which seats look clear for which party and which are tough fights. If they're tough fights, then frankly nobody knows because Chhattisgarh, the Congress has 38. safe seats the bjp has 24 which means the congress isn't safe according to access my india's data in chatisgarh uh, it's a 90 seat assembly you need 46 to win which means the congress needs all the seats which have emerged as tough fights in our poll to come to them so if those seven seats come to them then they're at 45 that's good news for them if not then we could have a second super over potentially there's not just a super over in chatisgarh in rajasthan there could be a super over in uh, chatisgarh as well the bjp has 24 comfortable seats they need to win all the 17 tough fight seats and then some of the congress tough fight seats to be able to pull chatisgarh towards them so it's not easy not for the bjp in chatisgarh regardless anybody who thinks is a bjp leher in chatisgarh that's not happening they could scrape through remember what is it that Amit Shah and the BJP top brass are hoping for their their theory is we need you to listen carefully to what they're what I'm saying. Let's assume hundred people wanted to vote for Congress because of poor organizational abilities. Say seventy of them came out to vote. Let's assume only eighty five people wanted to vote for the BJP. Their big hope is because of a stronger organizational machine, they're able to get 77 to the polling booth, which means 77 versus 70, they're still ahead. So even if more people wanted the Congress, the BJP's big hope is they can pull more people to the polling booth. That's what they're banking on, which is why they think in the tough fight they could still scrape through on no, Sunday. But uh, Rahul, if you see this, the strike rate is very high for BJP to get on. 17 first they have to win 17 and then try and get some of a few of seven seats so that's why so they'll be at 41 if they win all the tough fights yeah they but you only. don't always win all the no, tough fights you win what, some you lose the some the strike rate is very high here and so they need to win all the tough fights and they need to win some of the congress tough congress. fights and and the others will be again crucial there are lots of seats where the others could pull in 8 10% of the vote right. which could be all the difference between party number 1 and 2 i think chatisgarh because the congress had such a substantial lead over the bjp in 2018 you would say the congress is in pole position yeah. but clearly this is a very interesting state where 5 months ago everyone told you mr bagel is through yeah. now the bjp perhaps some would argue woke up too late or the bjp realized there's opportunity there got their act together in typical bjp fashion and they made it a much tougher fight so mr bagel will have a couple of sleepless nights make no mistake about yes. that because if he is below 50 at some stage the bjp will pounce on him so mr bagel as per your uh, safe and tough fight is at 45 in a 90 member assembly he wins all his 38 safe wins the tough fight he's still only at 45 he will then need to take at least half of those tough fights with the bjp to be above 50 no so basically so nobody can predict with yeah, any... at above 50 he will sleep well no, so with no definite confidence interval can you predict that you will win all the tough fights i mean really nobody knows even pradeep doesn't know you can allocate them in different ways you'll win some of them you'll win you'll lose some of them but the fact raj deep is and i believe whether it's cricket or elections luck plays a role yes was the winning bandwagon effect iska balla chal raha hai uska chal raha hai wo third man ke upar chakke ke liye ja rahi hai jiska nahi chal raha wo out ho raha hai you see there is that old theory that yogendra yadav tells me and we have to one day solve this mystery we even told dr kureshi when he was election commissioner why is it that after 3 o'clock the party which is leading seems to get all the closely contested seats all seem to go one direction or at least 70 or disproportionate number no, of them go I, one I, direction i have a reason i, I reason? know that i know that what see, is the reason see in any 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 assembly constituencies there are so many number of polling booths so as many as booths as many as machines so whoever is party is winning mm. meaning they are likely to win in most of these uh, booths 
सो दैट वेर एवर इज द मोमेंटम इट गेट्स ऑन टू दैट ये क्या बात हुई यार तीन बजे के बाद मोमेंटम एक तरफ चला जाता है तीन बजे के बाद नहीं जाता है तीन बजे के बाद कंक्लूडिंग स्टेज आ जाता है जो लास्ट का पांच से मशीन बचता है जहां टफ फाइट है जो आगे है वो दस बारह सीट बीस पैसे It's just Mahal. Let's assume that Haan, to three, of, three of you, no, three of you have a very strong opinion, and two sitting on the other side don't. The ones who are most committed show up really early in the morning. They want to go out and vote. And some people, e- even on the last day and just before that, are still undecided. They kind of on the fence. Okay, they can go here. They can go. Here. Once they figure out that the Mahal, whether it's through TV, social media, general conversation, is in a particular direction. They just go with the flow. No, no, Rahul, I'm talking about counting. Counting day. is talking about. I am saying yeah. after three counting o'clock day. on after three o'clock on counting day, I have noticed, and I'm not making any insinuation. No, no, what? Yeah. What? Why is it? No. Why is it that all the close fights often go in one direction? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. This is very interesting. I, 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 I'll show you data. Okay. I'll give you yeah, data yeah, on this. ऐसे होता है. Yeah, no, no. अरे ऐसे हो ही नहीं सकता. How can it be? योगेश तो यहाँ तक prepared data. Rahul. ऐसे होता ऐसे होता तो एक वोट से नहीं हारते थे नहीं 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 ऐसे नहीं चलो ट्वेंटी थर्टीन में ट्वेंटी थर्टीन में तो बीजेपी को पीएचडी ऑन दिस नो नो बट इफ दीज पोल्स आर राइट इन तेलंगाना एंड इन सम ऑफ दी अदर स्टेट शोली दे वांट से दैट द इलेक्शन प्रोसेस इट सेल्फ इज कर नो 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 आई वॉन्ट शो यू छत्तीसगढ़ आई वॉन्ट स्ट्रेंथ स्कैनर बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू टॉकिंग अबाउट वन सुपर ओवर आई थिंक दे कुड बी मोर and i just want to take a minute to explain why okay no okay wait my big fear with these touch screen machines they're very powerful analytics engines but even when you come to office in the morning and you turn on your computer sometimes it doesn't come on so that's my big fear anyway so here it is the strength scan for the bjp in telangana so the bjp has only and remember the big difference between uh, madhya pradesh uh, rajasthan and chatisgarh is chatisgarh is a more fluid state madhya pradesh and rajasthan have more entrenched voting patterns it's a newer state and a more fluid state so the bjp has only six safe seats in chatisgarh seats that they won in every election for the last three elections the bjp has 25 relatively safe seats elect seats that they won twice in the last three elections our poll predicts they'll bag 11 of them the bjp has 46 weak seats seats which they won only once in the last three elections our post poll data predicts they'll bag 24 of those Uh, and they'll win three out of the thirteen very weak seats. If I come to the Congress's data, the Congress predicted to lose four out of nine safe seats, picking up only five, picking up only nineteen out of forty-four relatively weak seats, and picking up seventeen out of thirty weak seats. So no batsman, as I said, Pradeep, in Chhattisgarh is hitting it out of the park. I mean, if they win, it's a struggle. It's just whoever wins, it's a struggle in Chhattisgarh. That. is been always the case except last time bjp has won three consecutive elections and they have never ever crossed 50 mark I see the majority was... mark is 46 and all three times they have been 47 48 49 so i can show that see if you see they're very close to 50 when they win yeah. and then that that happened in 2003 8 and 13 and then they crash boom it's just like the bottom falls out of it and the congress goes booming to the top now our poll predicts a much much tighter fight in some senses chatisgarh coming back to its mean uh, and this was really the anomaly the outlier where the congress won in a very convincing fashion because of three terms of anti incumbency against dr raman singh